Yellow wood sorrel, also known as Oxalis stricta. This member of the wood sorrel family is either an annual, meaning it lives one year at a time, or a perennial, meaning it lives two or more, and it grows in a habitat of woodlands, meadows, and waste places. The plant grows between 3 and 15 inches tall, and it has a yellow flower that is in bloom between May and October. The flowers have five regular parts or petals, and the flower itself is a quarter of an inch to half an inch wide, and long stalk small clusters. The fruit is seed pods that are erect or ascending, and the plant has alternate leaves. The leaves are divided into three heart-shaped leaflets, and the stem is mostly erect. Overconsumption of oxalis for an extended period of time may inhibit the body's ability to absorb calcium. As for its edibility, the leaves are rich in vitamin C and have a pleasant sour flavor. They can be eaten raw, added to salads, or made into a cool beverage. To make this beverage, Steep the leaves in hot water for 10 minutes, chill, and add sugar or honey. American Indians use yellow wood sorrel for a few medicinal purposes. The Iroquois made a blood medicine by combining yellow wood sorrel and common plantain. Boil the roots of both plants in one gallon of water until it goes down to two quarts. Drink as water. For cramps, nausea, and a fever remedy, crush four plants in a teacup of lukewarm water, drink one cup entirely, and repeat until relieved. For a mouth refreshener, cook the plant first, keep in a bottle, gargle in the morning, and you could also use it as a snuff. For witchcraft, it was one of the ten ingredients in an anti-witchcraft medicine. The Kiowa Indians chewed on the leaves for long walks to relieve thirst. The name of Oxalis stricta in the Kiowa language means saltweed. This may show that the Kiowa people understood that one loses salt through perspiration, and chewing the leaves of this plant may counteract that loss. The Omaha made a poultice of the plant and applied it to swellings. The western medicinal view of this plant states that the actions are cooling and diuretic. Diuretic meaning it induces urination. It has been used for hemorrhages, gonorrhea, catarrh, urinary affections, and for scurvy. It can be taken raw, made into an infusion, or infused with milk to form whey. Externally, the bruised leaves or juice have been applied to ulcers. Because of the potential of overdosing from ingesting too much of this plant, the antidote to oxalis poisoning is a mixture of chalk and water. And finally for the plant's other uses, a yellow or orange dye can be obtained through boiling the whole plant. Hi, I'm Mike Wynn from Plight to Freedom and I'd like to thank you for taking your time out to watch my video. I made a few changes that I'm hoping will enhance your viewing experience. You may have noticed those icons that I have in the beginning of each video. Well, now there are hidden annotations there, and if you're on your home computer, take your mouse and scroll over the icon in the beginning of each video and click on one of those icons, and that will allow you to skip forward in the video to anything that you're most interested in. Likewise, at the end of every video, I'll have an end card just like you're seeing now, with those same icons off to the side. Feel free to click on any of those and rehash or revisit something you may have missed or just want to go over again. If you have any extra suggestions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. I value your opinion. And if this video has been helpful in any way, please like and subscribe. You can also visit my website, plighttofreedom.com, for more information regarding each of these plants. Again, thanks, and as always, keep your eyes and ears open and your powder dry.